Coming up in this video, I will give you some tools that will make you a much more confident lead guitar player. We will start with the five note C major pentatonic scale. Then move on to the seven note C major scale. Then start playing with a sense of melody using the notes and the chords. Putting all these tools together, you will play with a lot more confidence and you'll sound more advanced also. I'm excited to show you this today, but to get the most out of this lesson, grab your guitar and follow along with me. So let's take a look at these chords. So all those chords are in the key of C major. That means they can be built, the notes that are in the chords can be built using the C major scale. I will explain more on the C major scale coming up shortly. So looking at the C major pentatonic scale, the root note is here in the eighth fret. And if you don't know where that is, you probably know the C minor pentatonic where the root note is on your, with your first finger here. But if you take your pinky and put it on the eighth fret instead of your first finger and go up the scale this way. C major pentatonic. So again, this is a five note scale, C, D, E, G, A. And then it repeats those notes again. Even though you're playing all these notes here, there's just five notes in the major pentatonic scale. And it's important to note that these notes are the exact same notes that are in the A minor pentatonic scale in the same shape. But we're using it in a C major context. So we start on C and end on C. So we can use the C major pentatonic over this whole progression. It sounds good, you can have fun with that. That's a more of a beginner to intermediate level scale to be able to improvise that way. But we really want more than that, so let's keep moving forward. And if this lesson is helpful, hit that like button. I really do appreciate your support. Now moving forward here, the C major scale is a seven note scale. Check this out. If we look at the C major pentatonic scale briefly again, that's a five note scale. 
C major scale seven note. So there's two notes added as all to the scale. So basically we're just adding the B note to that C major pentatonic and the F note. So if you are already using the C major pentatonic scale, you just have to add those two notes to that scale to make the C major scale. And this is so useful because it contains all the notes in the chords in the progression we just did or any C major progression. And again, keep this in mind, this is a C major scale here, but it is the same notes as the A minor pentatonic scale. A minor is the relative minor to C major, so they share the same notes. Now moving forward, we really want to start creating a sense of melody in our solos. That's when you start really sounding advanced. And the way to do that is to target the notes in the chords. So first we have to look at the notes in the chords. We are going to use the shapes that are right within the C major pentatonic that we're already using and the C major scale. So the C chord within this area is right here. G, C, E in a di little different order than, than the root note on top, but it's still a C chord. A minor, A, C, E. F, C, F, A. And then a G, D, G, B. So these chords are, these chord shapes rather, is, are right under our fingertips here. And I've had comments before to where it's, it's hard for you to follow the chords as you're, as you're trying to hit these chord tones. A great way to do this is to count the measures, the beats. So in, in this progression, each chord is, has two measures of each chord and there's four beats in each measure. So if we take the C chord, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, A minor, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, F, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, A, G, two, three, four, one, back to C. This, that's a great way and it's hard to to concentrate on other things when you're trying to target some notes but just do it. Do it every day. You will not regret taking the time because it's so important to sound like you you know what you're doing. You have a sense of melody. You are confident when you play this way. The C major pentatonic scale is all over the fretboard. We're just going to stay here so we can really get confident in this area and then break to some other areas in another video. So if you know the C major pentatonic scale, the C major scale, and the notes in the chords in the key of C, you those are three tools that you can really do some confident improvising with and have a lot of fun. So now let's create a solo using all these tools. So it's so important to know where those chord shapes are within the scale that you're using. And again, we're, we're going to stay in this position today, but you can do this anywhere in the fretboard. So the C shape is right here. And a great place to start improvising is really you know, using the C note here in the fifth fret 
of the G string is that C note. The first three chords have a C in the chord itself, so you can't go wrong there. But when it goes to the A minor, you have that shape right here. A great lick to use here is slide up to the 7th fret of the G string, 5th fret of the B string, 5th fret of the G string, and then back to A. And really as it comes up to the F, you're really looking at this little shape here. but also just that little shape right there. And then it's gonna to go to G. You have this little shape here. So you can walk right down that, that shape right there. Eight, hammer on to eight actually from seven. 7, back to 8 here, 7, 5, 4, back to the B note because you're still on G, then it's coming back to C, so you want to get back to the C note. Slide up to 7, back to the C note, home base. Really important to know where home base is here. A great way to practice this, just take those chord shapes and play over the track with those chord shapes. So we have that C chord shape. A minor. F. G. Do it that simple if you're not used to doing this, but you can really take off with that. Another great turnaround lick is in the 8th fret, bend a whole step up, so you're, you're hitting a G but bending to an A note. And then hitting on the 8th fret, the C note. And then let it release it back to the G note. G note, which is also in the, the C triad. This is really the heart of melodic soloing, just being able to look down at and seeing these little shapes right in front of you. But they're all within a scale that you know. That is really the key right there. And you see guys playing all over the fretboard, they do it because they know the C major pentatonic up in another position. So you can do that, you can do that same thing. And that is for another video, we'll, we'll kind of expand on this, um, this idea here, but this is, this is fun, it makes it so much more fun because you're, you have some confidence that you're hitting the right notes. I had a blast making this lesson today, thanks so much for hanging out with me, hopefully we'll see you on the next one.